All right, Dina, thank you. Well, today is a really important day for us here at ABC 10, as well as UC Davis Children's Hospital. It's the Children's Miracle Network Mediathon. The phone number to donate is right there at the bottom of your screen. Now, our very own Mark S. Allen is out at UC Davis Children's Hospital with more on how your donations are truly making a difference. Mark, take it away. Hey Mark, we got it off to a great start this morning and I just want to thank everyone that's taken the pledge so far. The people that have picked up the phone and reached out and called and made these phones, phones ring already. Thank you. We are so up this year. The numbers are greater, but with that said, the need is greater as well. So we got to match that need. We've got to keep the phones ringing. So many good things are taking place here. I see the back row is all working, so that's great. Uh, down in the front row. Also very active. We have one phone that probably needs to ring. Miss, if you would introduce yourself to everybody. Hi, I'm Danny. I'm with Children's Miracle Network. Please call and donate. Every bit of your donation stays right here at this facility. It doesn't go to administrative. It goes to the patients that need it. Patients like the McElroy twins. Take a look. The McElroy twins had a rough from the start. Born 12 weeks premature, Noah and twin sister Riley arrived without notice. There's so much fear. They're, it's 28 weeks. They're not supposed to be here yet. And uh, to see Sarah in so much pain and then to be worried about the kids. For parents John and Sarah, the journey here has been a roller coaster ride of emotions. They knew it was going to be a high risk pregnancy from the get go but they didn't think they would go into labor so early. Within like a couple of hours, we, we were in the hospital and we were already going into surgery for them coming. Those moments of uncertainty were soon overcome with moments of joy. Now almost 11 months, Noah and Riley are full of life. Noah, the older one, is a more laid back twin. Whereas Riley, well, let's just say she's a sassy one. She has to be the center of attention. She wants all the focus on her. Following their birth, the twins were in the neonatal intensive care unit at UC Davis Children's Hospital for nine weeks. The nursing staff gave the McElroys comfort, knowing that their babies were getting the best care. Our model in nursing that we have here is primary nursing, which is really relationship-based care. We create relationships with each other here at UC Davis Children's Hospital, just as we create relationships with our patients and families. But there have been a few setbacks along the way. At six months, Noah was hospitalized after having choked on his spit. He was diagnosed with intestinal malrotation and required surgery. The doctors and nursing staff were able to treat Noah. Now he's healthy enough to attempt to crawl with his sister right by his side. They are doing exceptionally well. Um, we are so excited to see them growing and developing, interacting with us. The McElroys count their blessings every day knowing that they received not just one miracle, but two. In Sacramento, Carlos Salcedo, ABC 10 News. You know, it's so stressful to bring a child into the world, let alone twins, and then add to that the complications. You want them to be in a place where you know they're getting absolutely state-of-the-art care, a place like UC Davis Children's Hospital. Be a miracle maker. What does that mean? Pledge not just $10, but $10 for the year. $120, I know you can give up something. Maybe just make your coffee a little less fancy every day. It will be easy. You won't even notice it. Miss, if I could interrupt you for a moment, what's your name? Cheryl Ruth. All right, Cheryl, what do you do? I'm the manager of the neonatal intensive care right, unit. So we're talking about preemies. How many preemies above us right now? 38. 38. Many special needs. Yes, absolutely. Um, many with specialty illnesses that can only be cared for here at UC Davis. Got it. I'd like to show you something. Just to, to ring it home to you, if you'll give me a minute. If I can get this on. See this ring? Most of those babies' feet could fit through that ring. We're talking very small, very delicate little lives. Absolutely. Many of our babies, I like to tell people, they weigh about what two soda cans weigh. Unbelievable. Yeah. So, uh, you know, they're going to need special needs. Lungs, heart, other complications can ensue. And also, I should point out that about 70% of the babies that come through here aren't insured. They need your funds. $500 would go to buy a fetal heart monitor. A, a mere $10 would at least take care of a box of uh, NICU preemie diapers. So give what you can. While you're giving your dollars, think about this. A $1 bill is about the size of a preemie diaper. So think about that as you're pledging your money. And do pledge your money. There's a phone, but it's not ringing enough. So call. Don't wait till this afternoon. Don't make me guilt you. Don't let the guilt burn in all afternoon. 
do it right now. Call the number on your screen. Back to you, Mark. Yeah, and one thing I've noticed, Mark, is when you start talking, the phones start ringing. So we're going to check back in with you a little bit later in the newscast. They do that, Mark, because they want me to shut up. I'm not going to. <laughs> not until we raise a record number of funds this year. So do make them ring, and I'll shut up. All right, great job and great stories coming out of there. All right, thanks so much, Mark. We'll check back in.